Hello, I'm Claire Morley and I'm a volunteer with Billerickie Community Archive. I'd like to share with you some memories from my childhood about events in Billerickie. When I was about five or six in the early 70s and my sister was at the senior school at Billerickie School, my parents joined the Parents Guild, which was the parent teacher group there at the time. Uh, and the parent teacher group that was there to raise funds for the school and to organise events. My parents had always been interested in music and my sister was learning the piano and the viola. And so they joined the subgroup of the Parents Guild, which was the Music Society. The Music Society specifically raised funds for the music department of the school. And this was with the view of buying instruments which could then be loaned to pupils so that they could learn a musical instrument that would otherwise be out of their reach. Some musical instruments are very expensive, particularly those that are more unusual perhaps or larger. And all musical instruments are expensive and therefore by having instruments which could be loaned out, the music department was able to offer the opportunity to learn music to more of the pupils of the school and to all those who would like to learn. One of the ways that the fundraising was done was that my parents and I'm sure other members of the Music Society as well organised dinner dances. I can't remember whether these were an annual event or were more frequent, but they were very popular at the time. Uh, the dinner dance would have ballroom dancing to a live band and dinner was chicken and chips, fish and chips, that type of thing supplied by a local um, shop and delivered to the hall. The dances were held in the school hall and as I say they were very popular. Now in preparation for this my parents would uh, do a lot of organising. They would have tickets printed and these came in a flat uh, sort of gift box from the printers and it was always an event when they arrived and we opened the box and they had a scalloped edge with a foil uh, metallic coloured edging and I think the coloured edging changed depending on which dinner you had ordered. Uh, it was always a very exciting time for me as a five or six year old when to open the box and look inside at these very special tickets on thick cardboard and with their special printing. And they were to be kept very safe and away from sticky fingers. Something else we did in preparation and that I was able to assist with was we used to make paper tissue flowers to decorate the tables. This was done with squares of tissue, different coloured tissue papers, which were purchased from the WH Smiths in Southend High Street. This shop had a large craft uh, section at the time that you went into via a side door in a side street. And it was the place where you could get these packs of multicoloured tissue papers. Uh, some were lots of different squared of single colours, others had sort of fading colours down each piece of tissue and we would use these and we would fold them in a particular way and cut uh, a curve and then when you used a florist's wire uh, around the bottom and opened them out they made a type of carnation -y type flower in these multicoloured tissue papers which again to a five or six year old was a, an absolutely fabulous thing and these were put in little pots as decorations on each table at the dinner dance. Now I was too young to attend the dinner dances, much to my dismay, uh, but one year I was very specially allowed to go for the early part of the evening. And for this, my mum had made me a long skirt because the ladies all wore evening skirts and evening dresses for the event. And I had my hair put up in a bun, which was very adult and glamorous for me at the time. And I was allowed to go and help sell some raffle tickets around the tables. And I thought this was an absolutely fabulous thing to do. I don't remember, as I say, the dancing or anything else because I was too young to attend. 
but I know it was a very valuable uh, event to hold and the fact that they were able to buy musical instruments for the pupils was a really great thing. I can remember that when enough money had been raised and a bassoon was bought and this was a very unusual thing to be able to buy and very expensive and I don't remember the young player who got to use it but I know it, it got a lot of good use at the school over the years. Um, as I say, my parents did a lot of fundraising for the school and for other organisations. But if anybody remembers the dinner dances or attended or has any information or photographs, I'd love to hear from you. So please do leave a comment at the end of this talk uh, on the website and I'd, be, I'd love to hear from you. I hope this has been of interest. If so, please get in touch or maybe you'd like to leave some of your own memories as well. Thank you.